No, what was the platinum, gold? What, but what, there was one announcer that was always like, another big, gibunctious <laughs> platinum. Or I don't something. know, but what, what I guarantee you, whatever was the highest when I when we competed is like the bronze now. now oh, it's, really? Now it's like they're like they're inventing rare metals. Like that's the inventing new thing. rare metals. So it starts at platinum and goes up from there? You would think, yes. Tritium! <laughs> <laughs> ah, All right, let's get ready. Yeah, terrific. <laughs> That's something that he has yeah, in his yeah, eye. Yeah. <laughs> this metal is so dense, I can't see through it. It's terrigium. Never okay, mind. Graham, are we, are we good? Oh! Hey, welcome. Here we go. Another fabulous episode. Another breathtaking, exciting episode. Living well together with me. <laughs> well, it's big life in a small town. We've got to fit that part in. Big life in a small town yeah, because that's a big part of what we're going to talk about today. But we are with a very, very special guest today. Like, she oh. is really, really special. This is Jenny Bailey, for most of you that know her as yes. Bailey. But her new last name is Saladin. Saladin. Yes. yes. I mean, yes. married. I got married uh, a year ago. A year ago, I know. Ah. And your claim to fame right now is being a uh, mommy to Lakin, and he is a doll. He is my all-time favorite human for sure. I, he he should be. Yeah, yeah. He's I best. mean, he really is amazing. <laughs> yeah. And right now he's going through this this phase. Jenny will post on her Facebook um, a daily photo of the broom of the day. The we are broom of the day. Big sweepers. <laughs> It is so precious. Yep. So does he find them wherever you guys he does. are? He will. He's a broom magnet. It's some sort of He draws gift. them out. Yeah. And and so like whether you guys are in a restaurant mm -hmm. or in a department store yep. or hotels, anywhere. It is crazy. And so can he, I mean, okay, he's only one years old. Yeah, he's 13 months. Yeah. yeah. And so he, we're not talking about little boy. No, no, no. The bigger oh, broom, the better. Brooms, yeah. yeah. Oh, yep. And so has he ever heard You girls him? are going to have to start parking your brooms out of the way where he can't <laughs> find them. <laughs> I know sometimes yeah, I can't get anywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and how they're gonna get home? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a big, big broom guy. He does have, you know, a Lakin size broom. He that's his name, Lakin. Yes. Um, but he does have a uh, Lakin size set, but no, that's not as exciting uh, as the ones that are a real danger really? to those around okay. him. Okay, so he look, he seeks out the yes. the, the largest ones he can find. Pictures are skewed on the wall, and mm -hmm. glass things are broken on the floor. <laughs> Everyone's okay. ducking. Yeah. Well, let's go back to yeah. how we know Jenny. How we know Salatin. Jenny, yes, and also, yeah, just Bailey. How, She's Jenny Bailey. You can you can change your name by marriage because you're do JB. You want. Yeah, she also just kind of rolls off the tongue. She's the star yeah. of the Jenny Bailey show. Yeah, for she's a always long time. She's always been the star of the Jenny Bailey show. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know, there was a lot of uh, well, that how really old? Took off. How old were the kids when we connected? With well, we'll let Jenny tell the story. All right, go. Yeah. Hmm, let's see. I was probably I was thinking about this the other yeah, day actually good. because. I was probably, I don't know, 12, mm -hmm. 12-ish, 12, 13. Mm -hmm. and, um, How much older are you than Lily, though? Because I think Lily, Lily's when she was on the competition three years. team. Yeah, three years. years older than Lily. 86 and she was probably, 89. She and Skin were like nine when they got on the competition team. Yeah, so I would have been like 12. 12. Yeah, 12-ish. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You guys had just moved to the house you're currently in. Oh, really? So you didn't know us when we lived on Rice? I did. That okay. was 25 years ago. Yeah. Almost to the day. 25 years ago next month. That's wild <laughs> yeah you guys um i had come to the your previous house uh -huh. downtown fairboard like maybe once or something yeah but then you guys moved quick soon after out to the country and it was when lily broke her leg <gasps> that was the time that it was like right around when lily broke her leg that i oh we like gosh. started getting closer and stuff but yeah. maybe like a little before but that was like yeah. the big first thing that yes. i remember when she broke her leg and um i came to the house to yeah. see how she was doing oh. And Grace's claim to fame at the time was animal noises. When the doorbell <laughs> rings, everybody thought we had a dog. I would. I was so excited because I thought you guys had gotten a dog. We love you, Grace. <laughs> yes. And we I talked mean, about it. It's a gift. Oh, yeah. It is a gift. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, oh man, they got a dog. That's so exciting. I never <laughs> thought they would get a dog. But I mean, you were right. Yeah, I could have I had not gotten a dog. No, it was just Grace. <laughs> it was just Grace. That was such a that was such an interesting time for Lily too, because uh, you know, dance for all of you guys. It was such a big part of your life. Yeah. 
and who you were becoming as young people too. And you couldn't drive at the time, and you couldn't drive. So that's like yeah. a big way. Well, you, you could saw each other too. Right, yeah. Yeah. Because you couldn't reach the pedals very well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but you guys spent a lot of time there, and I know that you were part of her healing process. Yeah. Too. So that, yeah. So like that right was, around that time. Okay. Actually, we should have Miss Kelly on too. Oh, yeah. We've oh, for sure. It. Yeah. We could have parked her right in between you. We we, we we could have. Yeah. But Jenny, I mean, I think Jenny's an amazing representative of MBDC. Oh, thank you. I would wholeheartedly. Miss Kelly agree. is the best. Right. She is a gem to our. Right. She was like you guys a spare mom in some way. Oh, yeah. Only way young. She Probably was way young more mom. than she wanted to be. Right. Yeah, right. I mean, there were a lot of days where she saw us more than our real parents saw us. Yep. Right. So. And helped you guys navigate mm-hmm. early teen years, Issues. teen yeah. years, and oh, all yeah. the things. All the and glory. And for a while, you were kind of like our extra child. Like, yeah. not our biological kid, but you were, you we were, were like part of our lot. Tri- <laughs> part of our tribe. <laughs> and we love that. You yeah. know, that was one of the things we talk about the... The Kitchen Peninsula. Yeah. yeah. You know, that was where secrets were shared and I mean, stories I'm still around, were told. actually. <laughs> you haven't quite She's gotten got rid of me. She's got a key, actually, to our house. <laughs> I do have a key. So. <laughs> this is really true. Yeah. yeah. More than what you had when you were a teenager. Yeah. You oh, guys just snuck in and out key. the windows then. Yeah, that's true. Well. I never <laughs> snuck in the window. I would. I know. I believe you. Yeah. Not me. Um, so tell us about, because you grew up in Enon. I right? did. But then you started um, at. Miami Valley Dance Center at age seven. Yeah. So you were dancing there quite a long time before we met you there, right? Yeah. So I saw like three studios. Okay. You know, what in my time there. But yeah, so I started when I was seven. I grew up in Enon. Mm-hmm. Enonian. Enonite. <laughs> no, whatever. Backwards. Yeah. Enonite. Whatever they yeah. called themselves. I, think I danced three or four years before I joined the team. Uh huh. And then once I was on the team, I just, you know, exploded. Yeah. You, you get you get the little bite. What do they call it? You know, like, you're hooked. Do you know how many dances you were in? No. Total in your career uh, at MBDC? No. Because you, well over do you still dance now? Uh, I just started again. You just yes. started again. And then Lakin and I do Mommy and Me on Tuesdays. Aww. That is super precious. I know you said that it would be fun for Honey to do that too. Yes, yeah. Honey should definitely join. It would be so fun. <laughs> so cute. Uh, I had at one time figured out that Lily had been in 133 dances yeah, in her so career. So you probably, probably was not longer. far behind. Yeah. I mean, or because some years she did more than me, but, okay. you know, I think I probably danced longer or something mm-hmm. like that. But it was probably yeah. pretty close. Was, yeah. I'm I mean, always amazed at how you guys not only oh remember the gosh. songs, you remember the steps. Yeah. But even still Wild. now, like if you pop on, uh, like what was... Was, let's get loud. Let's get yeah, loud. Yeah, so I remember. I remember. I remember all of it. Key points of you know <laughs> numerous dances. I think you guys could totally put them together again. Oh, we sh- oh we sure could. Yeah, yeah. That, that's just Re-invent crazy. Reinvent the MVDC days. Yeah, yeah, that would be super fun. Yeah. So started at MVDC. That's how we kind of connected with you. Yep. And then you guys went through high school. And then what happened after that? Uh, so we went through, we were friends all through high school, kind of, there was like three mm-hmm. or four of us. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess four of us that were really close. And then um, we all, it was kind of interesting. We all kind of parted ways mm-hmm. for several years and then yeah. we all made our way back. Yeah. So. Did you go to college? I did go to college. Went to yeah. Big life in a small town. Yeah. Something about yeah. the water in a small town. <laughs> like you always come back. It's, you grow it's up. Magnetic. Thinking, you grow up, you're like, I'm never going to live here. Yeah. You know, and then I moved away, I think three times and. Mm-hmm. I live down the street, so yeah. literally down the street. Literally right? down the street, walking distance. Yeah. Um, so you went. What college did you go to? I went to Bowling Green. Go and- Falcons. <laughs> and you, what was your? Uh, I majored. Degree? I had a, got. Uh, I got a business degree. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, and I, it's a supply chain management. I was a professional shopper for very boring things, basically. Yeah, it's not like purses. And no, shoes. it was not nearly what I thought it was. Or little be. girl clothes. Jenny is. Jenny is a really big helper for me, but one of my favorite things that she will uh, send me information on is clothes for honey. Yes. So, <laughs> clothes and shoes for honey. Algorithms have my number for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so then with your degree in supply chain, supply management. Yep. chain management, where did you go from there? So I actually, I did a couple internships in Iowa mm-hmm. of all places. It was a weird, um, I never ever thought I would live in Iowa. I don't, I mean, I'm sure you guys didn't ever either. Well, we did, we did knew. some time in Iowa. Yeah. 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 But I don't think when you were little, you weren't like, I'm going to no, go to Iowa. No, but that's where we would end up. Yeah. Know, on the other side of the Mississippi River. Yeah. Were you on the other side? Did you live in Bethlehem? I was. Yep. I lived in uh, Davenport. You did live in Davenport. I lived in okay. Davenport, yeah. A couple yeah. different places, but 
So I was at a career fair for internships, uh-huh. and someone from John Deere literally grabbed me by the arm. So, they touched you? Uh, yes. Back in that day, it was it Yeah, was okay. it was socially okay. acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> Pre-lockdown. Yeah. You know. Um, before the Me Too movement. Yeah. I did some internships out there, and then I actually moved out there for five years. Because you worked for them. Because I worked for them liked the opportunity. Yes. And so, and then what brought you back to, because I, I feel like you worked for John Deere in Ohio too, did you? Mm, no. no, I worked for an aerospace company, which I moved back. I moved back okay. in 2014. Okay. I moved oh, away right, in 2010, right, right. came back in 2014 mm-hmm. and worked for aerospace mm-hmm. company. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. I decided I was yeah. done. There was a lot of stress there. I remember it was just chatting with you about stressful. some of that. And it was like getting yourself to go into work yeah, every day was, and the people that you were working with and the dynamics were just so mm-hmm. That's a big corporation. Oh, yeah. It's, it's definitely not small town. You're a small town kid in a big corporate yeah. glass building. Somewhere. And I only, I only worked... I interned with two different companies, both mm-hmm. very large mm-hmm. Fortune 50 companies, and yeah. Um, then I ended up working for I don't I think I don't know I think they were still Fortune 50, so I only worked for gigantic corporations. Right. So, what did you love about Davenport? Um, well, people, don't say Whitey's because that's what we love. Well, see, mm, I don't oh, know. you wanted a Whitey's? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, she grew up with Youngs, right? Mm-hmm. So and now I'm a. And now I prefer Jubies over Youngs. Oh, I know that might be controversial. Yeah. I don't know, but yeah, yeah. Actually, shout out to Jubies. That would be fun. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be so fun. I'm a Jubies person over mm-hmm. Youngs. Yeah, that'll that'll start conversations around here. I know that's okay. I yeah. mean, there can yeah, be two parties. The there can be two parties. There can be the Jubies. But there's and the something Youngs. about it's it's creamier. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, I agree. We should no, have a taste test okay. episode. Oh, that would be fun. Oh yeah, yeah. Blind taste test. Right. I I know. I think I would know. I thought I would know too. Really? We, we did this. Vanilla bean ice cream. Oh. he He's always been a Briar's vanilla bean ice cream connoisseur is what uh-huh. he thought. Oh, wow. And so we had five. Uh, five different vanillas. By the way, I was blindfolded. And as it turns out, none of them were Briar's vanilla. <laughs> well, that's cheating then. Yeah. I was totally just I, blind, they didn't blindsided, have it. ripped off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have it. So we're like, well, let's just try. We, let's just I see mean, what he thinks. <laughs> but you did pick one. Of course, I picked one. Yeah. Well, you felt like you had to. Yeah, because it I had to be one of them. Yeah, 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 for sure. I I this is not about me. I know. Let's yeah, get back on track. Well, I forgot what we were talking about. Funny. Um, well, we were talking about ice cream and about Davenport and what you liked about. Oh yeah, what I liked about Davenport. Yeah, yeah. So as the, I mean, I still have really great friends there. Mm-hmm. You know, know, there's like, yeah, it's never easier to leave. Mm-hmm. And you guys, you guys still vacation together yep. with Tracy and her mm-hmm. boys and. Yep. We're going out there in a couple weeks, actually. Are you? Yep. They came Did here for Lincoln's birthday. No, Robert's going to. Oh, Robert's going to. Oh, yeah. that'll Robert's be fun. Robert's my husband. Rob, yes. Yes. yes Robert, stranger. Jenny, and Lincoln. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, so, then, so then you decided, I'm all done. Yeah. So I did five years um, in aerospace. <laughs> Sounds like prison time. I know. That's yeah. what I... That's... I did five hard years in aerospace. <laughs> I got There's, some tattoos to prove it. Yeah. In my brain, I do. <laughs> yeah. Like, but know. was there one specific turning point like where it's like, I, I just can't, I just literally can't do this anymore? I don't know. I think it's like a slow, okay, a slow death. Mm. Yeah. You know, Ooh, just to your the soul. worst kind. But yeah. there was a, I do remember there was a point where I was just like, I don't even care anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it's like, mm-hmm. like, cause like I was gone constantly. Yeah. Because you did a lot of traveling. You I did a lot of traveling. You, I saw some really cool places you for did. free. You know, like that was a definitely a... All of it overseas, inside the U.S.? Overseas no. both sides? Um, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I went to China twice. I Well, we went to London. I went to London for, mm-hmm. uh, to see friends. But mm-hmm. uh, Belgium. Oh, wow. All over Canada. Like the really snowy parts. Yes. And this was for work? For work, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I took, a, I mean, all the points get you, like, I got a couple free trips out of it. That was cool. That is cool. But yeah. yeah everybody should know about collecting airline oh, yeah. points. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Having the right credit cards to maximize free Yeah, that's travel. one thing I don't agree with Dave Ramsey on. Yeah. I, I think you should get your points. Yeah, because, I mean, the cost of a trip, mm-hmm. if you can offset it with points that you get from a credit card, as long as you pay the credit yeah, card you off. got to be responsible. Yes, got to be res- yeah, responsible with your credit. My good. financial tips. Jenny's financial tips. Jenny's yeah. financial tips. Financial corner. Jenny's we're, financial corner. back for an entire episode on financial <laughs> Yeah, I'm <on> my <laughs> Tell you about that journey as well. Um, so f- 
from all of the things like uh, the work that you did in corporate America and then being at Bowling Green, mm -hmm. um, what were some of the things that you learned from mm -hmm. that that you feel influ influenced the life that you are leading right now? Like being a mama, having some really cool part-time things that you do. Yeah, I do a few part-time things. I think it's just, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know that anything in that time really, it's definitely as you get older. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm an older mom. Mm-hmm. So I, she's not really that old. Not yeah. that I'm an older. I'm like it's gonna be fun at preschool. Like I'm gonna be the oldest mom at preschool for sure. But <laughs> do you think so? Oh yeah. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I bet that's possible. I'll let you know in a couple years. Yeah. You, yeah. Because you get some time. We'll report back. I'd rather be the um, oldest mom at preschool than the youngest mom in the senior center. <laughs> I don't I'm know like why. doing the math we'll in my head. Go back and revisit yeah. that. Yeah. What does that even look like, babe? Yeah, that's well, what I'm trying to figure out. I mean, yeah, who should be hanging around with young people? Well, I guess that's true. Like, oh, okay, because the young. So as a as an older mom, she's going to stay younger with the younger ones. 100. percent Okay, got it. Hang that's with the people that are younger. I feel like I've learned a lot of lessons too. Yes. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Next thing you know, you got a bunch of young moms sitting around your kitchen table or yeah. your peninsula. That's true. I got yes. to get one. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, you guys can, you know, chat about life. Yeah. Eat pizza rolls on your and kitchen floor at night. Oh, by the bag full. <laughs> One friend is continuing to bless us. I was going to say, I can yeah. tell you that, that you're not going to be right when you say you're the oldest yeah. mom. You're not. No, no. We have one friend who just <laughs> keeps putting out like. We won't even tell you what her name rhymes with. Yeah. We're not even going to talk about what, but can we say that she was a past guest? She was a past guest. <laughs> and she makes super, super cute babies. So I'm glad that she keeps All having true. that. I know. Every I know. Bit. It's so, it's, yeah. And it's, I mean, it's so yeah. sweet. But most of my friends yeah. had much older children mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. and they were younger than me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, yeah. I almost come to terms with the fact that maybe that wasn't part of my journey mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. But. Thankfully, um, God always knows. Yeah, He does, and He's got a plan. Yeah, because even it when we don't know, happened what that quick. Plan is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that it was, happened quick, so it was meant to be. Yes, because you met your now yes. husband, yep. Lakin's daddy, mm -hmm. and was that two yeah. years ago? Right, almost two years ago. Okay, almost two years. Almost ago. two years ago, and Lakin's thirteen months. So, if you're good at math, you'll know that God put that <laughs> plan right in motion. He didn't waste any nope. time at all. But it's worked out like really, really it great. Has. So I know. I mean, what a blessing. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you are such an incredible mom. She's been the most amazing auntie to all these other, like your best friend's yeah, babies. Yeah, a lot of practice. It's you just, got a lot of practice at being really good at all the fun part without having to do any of the work. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. suddenly you got to do some of the work. Well, but you're already prepped. I will say, thankfully, he is a, an incredibly easy baby. He I feel like I kind of... I feel like I kind of won the lottery in that point. <laughs> Sleeping not so much, but every other part, like yeah. Well, he's super 13 chill. months, right? I was say he's so, not a teenager yeah. yet either. Yeah, he'll, he'll he's catch up. Super then. chill. Yeah. So that works out really nicely. And it's easy to help him to get calm. Yeah, he's easily calm. distracted. Yeah, I love. He's that. 13 months. So. Yes. So at the Y, he actually is getting like pre preschool, right? Because he, you go and it, is it mom? It's not really mom's day out. Is it the Y where you go and you work out? And oh, yeah. I'll, yeah, he just go. It's like Child Watch. Child Watch. Well, shout yeah. out to the YMCA, too. Too. <laughs> Ours here in Fairborn? Yeah, I go okay. to the one here in Fairborn, too, because it's nice because they have, like, different people Monday, Wednesday, and then different mm -hmm. people Tuesday, Thursday, because mostly he's just with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I joined the gym just so, like, I joined the Y so I could hopefully exercise. To, yeah. Like, mostly so I could, like, shower in peace. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a community resource that is underutilized. I oh, think absolutely. Our YMCA, yeah. mm -hmm. they, they offer amazing programs. And, but I just podcast. think it's, yes. I, yeah, I just, I really think it's very um, innovative of you to say, I'm going to the Y for a shower and yeah. Lincoln can, can so hang out with the people who play, play with color. Yeah. yeah. He loves it. Uh, uh, after the first five minutes, he loves it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> after the transition. Just a little yeah. bit of separation, yeah. just for a second. Yeah. But Does every he time have a room I, there? Uh, maybe I should bring one. Maybe you should oh, donate one. That oh, might really turn yeah. the tides. You get to go see the special broom. Yeah, because he actually looks forward. Like he now he knows now when we're leaving. Yeah, and he beelines right to the broom on the porch. Ooh. Oh, so. at your house? At our house. Yes. Oh, okay. So like he's ready to leave so that he can go mm -hmm. play with that broom. Yes. Ah, so that's it. a good idea. Yeah. Maybe so I'll you gave up though a, a well-paying, yeah, world traveling job. What's harder? Corporate America or full-time mom? 
Um, uh, absolutely, corporate America. Is it I, harder? I'm not going to say that being a full time mom is easy because yeah. I think that's the hardest job in on any the planet. regard. Yeah, um, it's a really it, they're different hards. Different hards. Yeah. You yes, there's you always are going to have yeah. to choose one or the mm-hmm. other, right? Yeah. But I would say that this is a hard I would repeat mm-hmm. over and over right. again. Mm-hmm. I would. I mean, I had what a lot of people would call a dream job. Yes. Yeah, you know that's what I mean. You gave yeah. up a, a decent experience yeah. for something that's very different. Yeah, I mean, I made six figures. I traveled all over the world. Yes, um, mm-hmm. but no, I. And now we're a single income, mostly family. Mm-hmm. You're living a lifestyle that lets you be more fulfilled, I would guess. Yes, is that I'll, fair? Oh yeah. Um, and it's also downplayed, like. Like it's frowned upon mm-hmm. in our oh, yeah. culture mm-hmm. to be a stay-at-home mom. It we really we is. learned this back mm-hmm. in the day, mm-hmm. yeah. um, where people, you know, we would meet women at social functions or whatever, and they would ask, "What do you do?" This is I learned this a long time ago. You never ask a woman, "Does she work?" <clears throat> do you work? Yeah. And and the answer is always yeah. But the question is, do you have work outside the home? Outside you, the home. Are you employed yeah. outside the home? Because the, the mom, the mom that's inside the home, works her butt off. Like all day, <laughs> every day, no days off, no paid vacay. Right. Yeah. And and you never ask somebody, because I saw somebody do this. Like, do you work? And, and Lisa would say, well, I stay at home with the kids and we homeschool them. And they would be like, oh, it must be nice. Yeah. yeah. In yeah. fact, what was your license all plate? day. Yeah. Yeah. It must be yeah. nice to eat, bon- eat bonbons all day. And so for the longest time, her license plate said bonbons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody knew where she was. Yeah. Um, but it was always funny when you drove that car. Yeah. Would, uh, well, I was sassy. <laughs> but but like I said, there's a huge shift, mm-hmm. I think, since maybe the lockdown situation where lots of people realize that staying home with their kids is much more valuable than chasing the corporate mm-hmm. experience. And I think it's become much more vogue, much more popular now. Homeschooling is off the chain and yep. lots of people are doing it. And so you're living a lifestyle that is more congruent, if nothing else, just with your own value system. Right. And I think that's what, like, I was dating when I was older. Mm-hmm. So I was, I'm sorry, where I had a lot of non starters, you know, even kind of taboo non starters. Like, um, when I was dating, it's like, if you're not okay with having kids and me staying home, oh, like, yeah. there's really no point in us right. yeah. talking. Mm-hmm. You know, if our political views don't align, there's, yeah. Because I had lived that life. Like, there's right. really no. Mm-hmm. Yes. No use in us talking. Yeah. So that, that, I don't know. That kind of stuff is like quicker when you're older. Yeah. It's like you know, you got less time. Well, your so. runway's getting shorter. Yeah. You, you got, got less time make, to waste. You got to make better decisions yeah. quicker. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> Why would we waste each other's time knowing that it's not a good match or this is not a good situation? Right. Yeah. It's yeah. just sure. respect. I mean, it's like respectful too. It's like sure. Don't waste each other's time. Yeah. So, but yeah, I I am exponentially more fulfilled. Yeah. With a fraction of the resources that I used to have. And I mean, my husband makes good money. We're, we're not hurting, you know, right. in sure. any way, yeah. but yeah, he takes um, good care of you guys. But, um, it's, yeah, it's a very different life when I uh-huh. could just, somebody was like, Oh, do you want to go away this weekend? I could have been like, yes. And yeah. Now it's like, well, no, but it's yeah. like, but this is the life that I chose. And right. I, it's I, not a penalty. You're right. Just, it's, it's just not for now. Right. So. Exactly. And it'll shift again. The seasons change. Right. Yeah. For so sure. We'll get back to that. And yeah. when Lincoln goes to school, I'll probably go back to work in uh-huh. some regard. Yeah. I substituted in the schools and right. uh-huh. I really love that. Yeah. So yeah. It's flexible. Like I gotta say though, one of your other one of the other things that we know about you, one of the passions in your mindset is organization. <laughs> exactly. I thank you for getting there. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, like nobody I've ever seen before. It's absolutely true. Jenny was instrumental, if not completely responsible, for complete overhaul of my home office. Like I was at a point where I, I didn't even know where to begin. Like my, the closet up there was completely full of stuff and I had cabinets and just, it was so random. Yeah. We found some treasures. We found some treasures, but got rid of a lot of stuff. Same with the basement. In the the basement basement too. So seriously, I know you don't want to do this as like a full time Mm -hmm. thing, but if you're taking clients, you guys, she is the woman for the job because she can go in there and she separates it out. Uh, in a very organized fashion. So it doesn't feel like an explosion. You know, it seems yeah. very structured. Um, it's harder for people to start because you have an emotional tie to your stuff. Yes. I don't have an emotional tie to your stuff. Yeah. Right. So, And the other thing, though, that I like is that you've known us long enough to know what we would have an emotional tie to. Right. Or this is trash, this is treasure, or this is 
donation, this is giveaway, right. this is whatever. Um, but I have to say, uh, you know, coming home to a basement that had been deep, de- I, I yeah. think of things as terrified. <laughs> like your basement's terrified. Mm. <laughs> and you de-terrified it. But I, there was stuff that I didn't know was missing because I didn't even know it was there. Yeah. Like it had been there so long or whatever. Yeah. And when the clutter goes away, you think, well, gosh, I wonder what's missing. And for about two seconds, you think that. And it's like, I don't really care. But you can't name it. No. Yeah. Somebody yeah, right? else is exactly. either already using it. It's already been purchased or it's already gone to the dump. I don't know which. Yep. And frankly, it, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Yep. No. And, and, you know, for the most part, you would check. If there were any question marks, mm-hmm. obviously, she's going to check and say, you know, what do you, th- what do you think this pile needs to yeah. go in? What do you want to do with these gold bars? <laughs> <laughs> you just want to donate them to me, right? <laughs> <laughs> you don't need these. But no, you made it so simple. And that made that that like freed up my brain to be so much more creative, uh, to really be on top of the things that mm-hmm. I like doing. And so oh, I, I just really seriously can't say enough about you, Jenny. And a lot of and to a lot of people, it's the time taking it out too. True. So when I would work with other people, it was like I, it left with me that day. Yes. You didn't have any time to sit. You had a tiny car. It. I'm thinking I did. how is she that? She made heck? multiple oh, yeah. trips I mean, back and forth all day. But also she was like a Tetris artist. You know, yeah. she could fit stuff in there like you just yeah. wouldn't even imagine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's it goes with me that day. You don't yeah. have time to sit and think about it and let it sit at the bottom of the stairs. It's like, oh, we'll yeah. just take it back upstairs. Like, nope, it goes with me. Yeah. And, you know, I know how I feel about it, but what if some of your other clients said after you've reorganized their lives? I too? think a lot of times people just, like you said, they just don't know where to start. Yeah. Because it's like it's so overwhelming. overwhelming. Yeah. Like with the basement, it's yes. like, which corner do you start? And me, I just pick one. I would have yeah. started with a leaf blower. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Bulldozer. Open yeah. that door and we're getting rid of all this <laughs> yeah. crap. Yeah, actually, we should. What's the other side look like? The other side of the garage. It's pretty. Oh, good. it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah it's pretty. Good. It's pretty good because I think that you did kind of. Was, I think we got rid of some of that stuff and we were able to. Yeah, sort. it was mostly pretty clear too. And that those are just mostly tax boxes. We can burn all those. I think. Somebody if we can. Want to. <laughs> what are you doing Saturday? Yeah. <laughs> Buying some marshmallows, it sounds like. <laughs> we had a little camp out the other night. It was so good. It was, the first was so cute. Was that your camp? marshmallow? Yeah. 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 It's the first toasted marshmallow I've had in a really, really long time. And it didn't have any artificial coloring in it. Grace found ones that were, uh, oh. yeah. Like white? Yeah. White, but not with titanium dioxide or blue go. food color. This from the people who used That's to eat Totino's they, pizza rolls yeah. by the bag. <laughs> they used, yeah, they used blue food coloring to make it white. That's another thing that's becoming very normal. Um, this like people uh, reading labels. People reading labels. Yeah. Conscientious shoppers. You mean yeah. at, at the age that you are now, or just in general in twenty twenty four? Yeah, you have to. Yeah, yeah, you really do have to. I, I mean, uh, because of the selection, mm-hmm. I've just found myself like watching so much about making America healthy again. Yeah, and all the and, recalls and and all the recalls and just you know. We do need to be advocates for ourselves. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Lily's like, we've always kind of lived this lifestyle, right. right? But it's just so wonderful to see it expanding and seeing really loud, clear voices talking right. about it that can help people find a way because otherwise, I don't know. I think that's why it's more normal for me too. Like I remember one time at a dance competition, um, I was drinking a Diet Mountain Dew, Ooh. which I have now found oh, an oh. alternative to, but it yes. had a grip hold on my life for a long time. Yeah. And I don't know, I was like, did 16. I say anything? You, you did. I you did. You said, if um, I buy you another pop, will you throw that in the garbage can? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, sure. So, and so I said, drink sugar instead of diet. Yeah, or, so you, yeah, yeah. Just drink the regular. So did I get you a regular Mountain Dew? Uh, I, I, I might have gotten like a water or something. Oh, I, I got you a water? Yeah, probably a Sprite probably or something. That would be the fair more. trade. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, that's because of my issues with artificial sweeteners. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like whenever I would see that, I would just, I could almost see what was happening inside of a person's body yeah. based on the, what they were drinking. Yes. You know? and, so I obviously yeah. raised late, like we don't do. Yeah. But it's interesting because we're working with a child development specialist for him. Oh, you are? For a few things that he's struggling with. Yeah. I think it's just age. I was going to yeah. say, he's 13, year, 13 yeah. months old, not he 13 won't take years a cup, old. But that's it's, okay. Yeah. He will. Yeah, he will eventually. But so the pediatrician. You know, this is, yeah, put on our tin hats, but yeah, the, the pediatrician got us in touch with, um, help me grow, whatever. Mm-hmm. So they have child development specialists, and okay. whenever I say to them, it's like, well, I'm really, I'm kind of picky about what I feed him, and yeah. you know, we don't do artificial dyes and anything. They're like, that's great, yeah. You know, so it's interesting to hear, 
like a specialist. Right. Other that's not necessarily a medical specialist. Yes. Be like right. very supportive of those things. So there's obviously a yeah sh- a shift in the tide on right certain issues. I do I I do love hearing that. Um, you know, one of the things too is you can ask your doctor for a prescription for healthy foods and exercise the gym. Where I think that? that you can use your uh, like your F uh, your oh like your HSA yes your HSA yeah. cards and things hmm. like that. Um, so you got to pay for the Doritos, but your HSA will buy the broccoli. Something like that. Huh. Yeah, interesting. I know, but I also know the a gym lot of insurance is yeah, like gym memberships and stuff. But you have to ask. That's the thing, and they don't make it widely known. Hmm. So you know, because that's the shift. It's like what we're doing now isn't working. So finding another way, and so that's what they were talking about. Oh, I'm gonna ask my doctor this. Yeah. Yeah, that means thirty-four dollars a month. I know exactly. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, and you guys are doing such a good job with him. I mean, oh, Lincoln is you. just I mean, he's just such a special boy. He's a cool and, kid. Yeah. Um, he's in a clapping face. He's very enthusiastic. <laughs> um, I'm a pretty enthusiastic guy myself. Yeah. I was gonna say he's g- 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 being yeah, raised by a dance mom. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, perfect. What else would you? I'm want? pretty enthusiastic. Yes, myself, yes. But he's really in a clapping face. So, oh, because yeah. he's happy. He's, he's, mm-hmm. Yes, I love that. So, at mommy and me, like we do, like these stations and stuff, uh-huh. and he takes a lot of time to stop and clap. And if there's is uh, he clapping for other people or for himself? I, I think he's just happy to be there. Just happy to yeah. be there. Yeah. But if there's applause on TV, he'll oh, appla- he'll yeah. clap too. That's sweet. And he gets adjusted too, right? He, he does. does since he was born. Yep, he does since he was like happy a couple days system. old. Yeah. He's a does happy baby. He, does he like getting adjusted? He doesn't mind. Okay. Some babies some babies kind of don't they it takes a while, but you're so good at getting them warmed up. So. Ah, I just tape them down and have my way. Velcro. Yeah. Those <laughs> Velcro clothes. Yeah. Okay. So can you this is about dancing. So your top three or your top five dances from competition. Dances. Oh, wow. And it can be so, your well, solo. I was going to say top be, three means solo, duet, and group. One of each. Or, yeah, well, your your top solo, and then you can pick two other random, random oh, wow. ones. Wow. Yeah. I mean, so I would to choose from. There are so many to choose from. Like, was it your first solo, or did you have another? No, what was the one that you did? That <laughs> My really, musical theater one. Yeah. Yes. Well, uh, With Lucy? Yeah, Lucy from the Peanuts. Yeah. It was out of um, the show, Your Good, your good Man, Charlie Brown. Mm. Well, my new philosophy that's what a lot of people um at the studio yes um, they know you as that person, yes that's my philosophy <laughs> yes. girl um that would be a fun do you have any like video clips uh probably yeah or at least you a actually photo. probably we can have put a photo in yeah here. we can do a photo for sure yeah, i'm sure that if, i have, if you have a video it's it's kind of fun to see that too um okay so there's would okay, you, so would you name that as uh I'll put that in the top three. Okay. I won't rank them. How about that? I'll okay, tell you my rank. top three. Yeah, just your top three. Um, I think another one, I think it was the same year as another one, Bites the Dust. I think that's another one that that's was pretty, one. pretty big. Was that in the purple costumes? Yeah. Well, it was like black and it had yeah. like purple and the purple trim. Yes. The hats. Yeah. That was good. That one was pretty good. Yeah. Um, oh, man. And then what was? And that was a large oh. group, right? That was a large senior group? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. You guys did good with that one. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We did do good with that one. Um. Any production <laughs> or my third? I, actually, I think I'll put my third. Miss Kelly, when I was, it was um, Ice Ice Baby. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, that was, those were blue sequin tops. Yeah, they were old and, color guard. Ah. Uh, really? They were old color guard costumes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. my gosh. That, that was a good one. Yeah. And I remember I had like a special part with Miss Kelly. So I thought it was like the best. So that was, was that an opening number? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh. So we're still we're still wee lasses, but you were little wee lasses. Yeah. Oh, I remember. That's why that. I thought it was so cool. But yeah, that's probably my top and three. Oh. But man, there's yeah. so many good ones. So many good ones. It, Cause you dance all the all the genres of dance. Oh yeah. I think one Tap, year ballet, jazz. Mm-hmm. Did you do lyrical? Lyrical. Uh rec. Not I didn't okay. compete. Yeah. Okay. But uh, I think my biggest year I had twelve. So even, I mean, think about this. They had to have their costumes organized. You had to have the right shoes. Shout out to mom for that. Though. Oh, I can't oh take credit for that. <laughs> for sure. But you guys knew, like, as soon as the music started, you would know this is the dance and these are the steps. Yeah. I remember it was. It's crazy to me. And then you and had to fly off do... stage, change costumes, and be back be right in back on. 18 seconds. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's but there quiet. was one year we Close went to flying. New York for the parade. Oh my gosh, that was an amazing year. That was 2003. Yes, it was. Yep, that was my senior year. It, oh my gosh, that was such a good time. Yeah, that was really fun. Dancing the Macy's year? Day Parade. That was my senior year of high school. Holy yeah. cow. We spent the whole week of Thanksgiving yep. in New York City. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It was Super amazing. fun. Yeah. It was really fun. Yeah, that was, there's a lot of really good memories from that. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that was, that was so but Yeah, cool. we did that and then we got, literally got off the plane, came here. And that was like the first couple of years that Fairborn had a Christmas parade. Oh. So that dates us as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, and a Christmas program, didn't did Kelly always put on a dance? Yes. Yeah. She did that. Yeah. yeah. Like, the, a, like a winter carnival. Winter carnival for the fish food program. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got off the plane from doing mm -hmm. the Macy's parade mm -hmm. in that night. Mm -hmm. Like we literally came from the airport to and did the Fairborn parade. Committed. And you just like turn on the song. Yeah. Like it's, it's wild to think about. Yeah, your brains just clicked. Mm -hmm. Like it, they just flipped. Muscle memory is wild. Yeah. Ex but we can't for, keep not, for clean and we no, can't. not for everybody. Not for everybody. I couldn't tell you why I went in the kitchen earlier. Yeah, but. <laughs> you mean now? Yeah, now. <laughs> yeah, but back then I could remember. I can't remember half the passwords I use for different web stuff. Yeah, oh, thankfully well, they save them now. Yeah, I was going to say there's there's ways to get around that. We've not done any of our questions, I don't think. Well, no, we've, we hit we hit a lot of them. You talked about them without being asked oh, the okay. actual question. Um, I was There's stuff on here about organizational challenges. Um, oh, yeah. You enjoy helping people tackle the most. Oh. But, I mean, it, you've done a lot of different ones. Like, Yeah, I mean, it's, and a lot of times it's just, um, like, a few people still reach out to me about it, and uh -huh. they'll be like, do you still do that? It's like, well, I, don't, I can't yeah. take on, like, week-long right. things. But, you know, if, a lot of people just need help getting started. Yeah. And so that's where I can help is yeah. just get it started a couple hours on a Saturday morning or, right. you know, during the week or whatever, if you love one-year-olds. But yeah. Um, so if you, if there are people, listeners or viewers mm -hmm. that would like to get in touch with you about that, is that a possibility? Can yeah, I can always, to you? we can always see if okay. we can work something out. Yeah. yeah. Put together a free guide where you can just have people be in touch and you zip them off some stuff and yeah. Oh man, I'm planning your whole life. That'll be, pr yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Not loved a good guide. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Click on the link below for my free guide. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, babe, I don't even know if she does that. No, we don't. It's much, much less uh, informal than that. Oh, okay, all right. So if you are interested, yes. we'll make sure that you can get connected to mm -hmm. Jenny because it is life changing. Yeah, especially she when that, the holidays yeah. coming, people think about yes. like adding more. Oh, stuff. clutter. Yeah, yeah, let's put some more clutter in the world. And it might be a good time to think about how to reorganize it at the end of the season, mm -hmm. too. So putting some forethought into that, uh, you know, once the holidays are over, it's like, what am I going to do with all this stuff? Right. What can what can I do to make it easier next year Right. by taking care of it this yeah. year? And I'm, I'm certain that that's something that you can yeah. A lot of people well. are like, they just, it's a lot, of, it's easier once mm -hmm. they get started. Yeah. They just, they're just, you're paralyzed at the yeah. beginning. So it's awesome because Jenny, there's... She, she knows how I like things and she'll come in and she'll take a peek into a closet or a cabinet. It's like, oh, you're doing good, no, you're yeah. doing good. And not filling it back up is a big part of it too. Yeah. Yeah. So. And trying to keep it, you know, you had to come and do an overhaul on my office closet. Mm -hmm. But um, but for the most part, once things are set up, it's easier to keep right. them that way. So and you appreciate that space so you don't refill it back up. Exactly. Yeah. Because yeah, I, think, I think a lot of people are in at this time or they're into decluttering. Yeah. Like they're finding a way to make their wardrobes more capsule style mm -hmm. and not don't need as much stuff. I think we all, in my opinion, I think we all kind of in the lockdown mm -hmm. gained an appreciation for being home. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so you want your space to be more inviting and you want it to yeah. be somewhere you want to be and you want people to be over. And mm -hmm. so I think that's mm -hmm. what a lot of people yeah. kind of took from that. What we learned. Yeah, we learned. Yeah, there were a lot of lessons. Yeah, but that definitely was one it's of like, them oh, too. Home isn't as bad as yeah we thought. <laughs> <laughs> or it's we, really kind of bad. Let's make it good. <laughs> right. It yeah. yeah. There were a lot yeah. of remodels like, that happened. Yeah, a lot of remodels. Depot and yeah, yeah, carpet stores. Everybody did pretty well. Yeah, they, they really did do well essential. during that. <laughs> right. But uh, yeah, everybody wanted to spruce up their living space for that yeah, time. Backyards and oh, yeah. right. Uh, anything else that you'd like to add? Anything mm -hmm. random? Ooh. I don't know. We've got, I mean, we could sit here and talk all day. I know. It's true. If we were going to do a two-hour episode like uh, 
Theo Vaughn or Joe Rogan. Oh, we or... could go for two hours easy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We Swing could definitely set. We could the golden yeah. Swing set. Oh, yeah. All yeah. the dreams we had growing up. It's true. Yeah. So there was the golden swing set. Yeah. There was going to the Amish, the Amish country, country in an RV. In a, uh, yeah. So like a tour bus RV. A not tour just bus a, RV. Not yeah. just a cheapo. No. Right. Um, what other things did you guys come up with i mean there were always these elaborate schemes yeah they would always make up dances they would mm -hmm. you know they would perform for us in the living room but that's pretty typical for most kids yeah um, i mean we spent oh. hours and hours and hours just on in your yeah. kitchen yeah and the other yeah. lily's birthday is christmas day and there was always one person because when your birthday yeah. is on christmas day you kind of get ripped off as far as like we're not that's having true. a birthday party we're having a christmas situation <laughs> But uh, guess who was always but there? But guess who was also yep. Lily's on her birthday? Yeah. Birthday brunch. I knew she was Dave Puff Marshmallows. Yeah. Brett Marshmallows. A variety of flavors. Yes, Sorry. Lily loves marshmallows. marshmallows. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. So I'd bring So people, not everybody's going to take time out of their Christmas morning Jenny's to pop in. Jenny's one of the best in. gift givers ever. Right. Yeah. The gifting is Super definitely thoughtful. her love language. I mm -hmm. think that's fair. Yeah. Um, and she's good at it. Yeah. And we're just so thankful to have you in our life, oh, Jenny. Thank you. I won't get emotional, but you really are a special lady. And we're, we're glad that God brought it, brought us together yes, in this lifetime. It's been a good journey. It has been a good journey. Yeah. She's probably going to be the one who picks out our nursing homes. <laughs> like Not our kids are going to, our, be our real out. kids are dole that out. To, yeah. Hey, let's just get Jenny in on this. I'll, I'll cost it out and <laughs> give Nana a spreadsheet. That's perfect. We should do, we should do one of these just for fun. See okay. if it oh. becomes right. a roll. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, I'm going to ask you guys. I'm going to. Oh, oh, you can answer. The old flip the script. The flip Living the well script. together with. Big life in a small taps time. and yeah. Aunt Jenny. Uh-huh. Okay. If you could learn any new skill, what would it be and why? Ooh. That's a good one. Huh. One new skill. Okay. I like the other one better. We're talking about which superpower. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Well, this could be, I mean, a skill could be a, a superpower. Skill. It could be, I mean, a skill. Um, that could be a skill. You know, I would really like to learn how to be a public speaker. Oh, I thought you were going to say fly. Get fly your pilot's plane. license, yeah. I did think about that, but I decided a long time ago I didn't want to do that. It was on my list for a while. Hmm, on my really? bucket list. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's interesting. Yeah. I would consider you a good public speaker already. Oh, you would? Yeah. Thank you. You're very outgoing. Yeah, it's just, it's... And articulate. Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you. Yeah. What about you, babe? Well, you're pretty easy on the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Some appreciate that more than others. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we all do. I, You know, I, I would want to learn probably a new language. Okay. Yeah, I think that's yeah. what mine would, would be. I would mm -hmm. want to be able to be a better uh, learner of new mm -hmm. language. That is so good for neuroplasticity, too, right. to learn a new language. Brain Which health. language would you choose? Mm, I would start probably with Spanish just because you got to yeah. do that anytime yeah. you call somebody. You got to right. press one for English. Yeah. But Spanish is obviously very prevalent. Um, I think Italian would be super fun. It's um, such a pretty language. Gaelic, uh, you know, the languages that, uh -huh. that are more ancient languages would be kind of fascinating. Yeah. Nothing Chinese. I don't, I don't have what a desire you? to learn Chinese. I think I know, I'm, we're actually kind of doing it just because yeah. with babies, but sign language. Oh. I think being able to talk across the room. Without people knowing, yeah, is yeah, here. I'll do, I'll do quite a name. power. J E N okay. N Y. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's your age. Yeah. Close. Yeah. yeah, no, I think it's like really interesting to be able to communicate like just across the room. It is like having like it reminds you of the baseball players, you know? Right? Yeah, with their yeah. yeah. <laughs> so can Lakin because you can teach him how to do his name. Yeah, we're not quite that advanced yet. Okay, yeah. but uh, we're working on He's it. He's thirteen months. Yeah, but but they do baby sign language. I yeah, mean, but baby sign language is it's really like cool. if I'm going to teach him so something, it's yeah. better. Well He's better off knowing how to not drown. Oh, I, I love that. He's got that. But check. I love right. Yeah. yeah, but baby sign language is so sweet because that's their initial way of really starting to communicate mm -hmm. what they're thinking, and it gives them a voice. And in, in reduces their frustration, yeah. I think. Yeah, it's uh, it does a lot for behavior and uh -huh. like calming them, being yeah. able to communicate. So, yeah. yeah. But it's also neat to like look at my husband and be like, <laughs> yeah, I need a glass of water. <laughs> or, and he yeah. get him. Yeah. He has to go yeah. get it. Yeah. Let's skedaddle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Anything else we're covering today? I don't think we so. We could go for hours. Oh, we really, oh, we really could. could. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, definitely like, subscribe, and follow, and share with your friends and family, and make sure that you let people know that we have an amazing organizer in our town, ready to do small, few, select, select, right, select, yes, yeah. 
yeah. assist you in your journey. Assistance, right. right. Exactly. She doesn't say yes to every mm-hmm. request. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To be fair. Time is precious. Yeah. yeah. Right. Time is precious. But if you can get on her schedule, it's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. It would right be on. If you're one of the selected ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you. Nighty night. We'll see Bye. you next time. <laughs>